What's good YouTube, Nath Mask Collector, back with another episode of Build the Back to the Future DeLorean Time Machine from Eagle Moss. Um, issue number 22. So before we get started, I had to, to get this back on there, I had to take off the top of the engine and um, screw that on and then put the top back on again. I'm still not super comfortable with the way this engine is, uh, you know, I got to either strip that one screw or, or something, but it's in there. Um, I think once it gets all set up in the car, it's not gonna go anywhere. So, just wanna let you know that I caught my mistake before I got too far. Anyways, back to issue number 22. Um, looks like it's a pretty quick, easy, not easy, but quick one. Um, just because one, it's got all mainly AP, or I'm sorry, yeah, AP screws, which any P screw is a lot easier and quicker to do, I'm finding out. You know, you don't have to worry about any oil um, for the metal parts which is sometimes difficult to do. And uh, I was looking at this and it's, you know, it's got all the shock or the spark plugs and hoses and cables and things. And I just wanna, it looked kind of intimidating at first and then after looking at it, it doesn't look too bad. It's got a lot of different little sections. So pulling all the parts. We got everything out of the bags. Good. All right. Put our screws. Oh, those are our spark plugs. So the uh, little spark plug tops or whatever, these are in their own little separate bag. So that's kind of nice that they did that. I'm not floating around in there. Um, a lot of AP screws. So. I'm just gonna put these in there. Pillbox. Highly recommend these little things. MM. I don't even have an MM label made up yet, so we're just gonna leave those in the baggie. Okay. Organize my parts over here a little bit. So, whoops, sorry, right. issue 22. Sorry for the light. Uh, here are the parts we got this time. This engine out of the way a little bit. More parts for the engine plus fixing screws. We got a bracket, cover, arm throttle control, thermostat, fuel distributor, fuel injectors, uh, mixture control unit, mixture unit housing and throttle valve assembly, intake manifolds, AP screws, MM screw, and then we got short, we got short, medium, and long hoses. All right, so step one, Lower part 2B, 22B on the post of 22A, highlighted in red. And then we're going to screw that onto the front of the engine with an MM screw. I got my MM screws right here in the magnetic spot. this part here and this part here. The 
It's got a little notch in it. That's the only way it'll go on, so. Just pops on there. And then. This one here is the only one that's going in the middle, so just going to uh, right here fix part 22e to the top of the engine at the rear two ap screws Step four, place part 22D onto the corresponding area of 22C and secure with one AP screw.
Come on. So tiny. Yeah, there's nothing to hold on to to get any kind of pressure. That's going like this. Use that recess part a little bit. See this or not? All right, that in there safely. And then we're going to place assembly onto the top of the engine to secure thermostat cover with an AP screw. Step six, bring a couple more parts together. Step seven and then we'll So now we got this part. Then we have this piece here, and this goes, there's a little bead here, 
fits into that hole and then fits on top like that. And then it's one AP. I think the Eleanor set here should be coming out here pretty soon too in the US. I've seen some other countries are starting to get their issues. It's there. This last screw, there's like I could probably just drill a little hole in there just to help it out. Maybe I'll do that, but um, right now I'm just gonna let it go. And then we got these uh, 
fuel injector tops here. Just snap into our fuel injector cap thing. Okay. This could probably get a, could have got put on there beforehand. Trying to think of the best way to do that. Thinking it's gotta be. This. Just lost it. Okay. Fucking impossible for me to grab that. Five hands. It's gotta be tweezers. It would have been nice if these were metal, like this, I don't know, just something better to, not to worry about something breaking. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, cool. All right. Good. More tweaking with that. I'm going to get scared and I'm not breaking a tip off or something. Okay, so I've got those on there. Six injectors. Now it, what it does is it gives you a map, basically, of um, where the hoses go. So it starts on the back, this one, then you flip it over to this side and you just kind of work your way towards the front of it. So we're gonna do that. So we start with the short hoses, medium. Okay. Short hoses. This is the back. It's got this one here first. So it's got. This little tip here is where this is gonna go on to. Which fits on there pretty damn easy. That wasn't bad. Easy actually. All right, now here comes the, the medium. The hoses are pretty rigid, so I think that helps get them on there. But they flex pretty easy too, which is cool. I'm gonna put the long one on now that I kind of know what's going on here. I was just looking to see how these hoses looked and they look different on the manual because they got it kind of conforming to the, to the engine blocks more. And I'm just wondering if there's something I'm supposed to be doing here, like cutting them shorter. Um, I don't know. I'll have to check out some other, other builders videos and see what they did. Just seems like see how much wire there is sticking out. I don't know, 
just doesn't look right to me. I'll have to check that out. But anyways, that's the end of the build right there is um, getting those last wires on. So that's kind of where we're at. So right here, so that's what we should be, where should we should be at. Um, I'm definitely gonna take a look at those wires on other builders channels just to see what they did or how they interpret it and then the next issue is uh, more engine parts I think there's about two or three more issues with engine parts in it and the book stick Quite a few issues left to go for engine and get it on the chassis and all that stuff so thank you for watching this one uh issue number 23 and um please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet make sure you like the video um thumbs up leave a comment um if you have any questions definitely try to answer them as best as i can and then also hit that bell for notifications on new videos when they come out and we will See you on the next one. Thanks. Till then. Bye.